Hey, what is up, y'all? Eric here. I'd like to welcome y'all to a new episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, yes, we're John Marston. You haven't seen my other episodes, the playlist will be in the description. Check it out. So, right now, we're just working on the ranch. Hopefully, we can save some money. Get a new place to stay. So, we're going to go do some couple missions. So, yes, here we are. Without further ado, let's get it started. As you can see, I got some beer going on. Let's go. Alright. Come on, he's over here. Okay. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Cause since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. Alright. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck, you. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled it. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Alright. Let's go. Well, what is this? You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. 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 Relax. Jeremiah. Easy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Mm-hmm. Calm down. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? Supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Hey, boy. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Tired. All right. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. You won't get much of a sweat on him in the ranch, Mr. Milton. Hmm. So, what I supposed to do? Can you off the horse? If you want to exercise him, take him down the hill there. There you are. Alright, so... I'll take him out. See how this horse can... Taking him for a ride. You got some energy? Show me then. So... Come on! Let it all out of you. I guess I just gotta roll around. Alright. 
right. I guess I have to do this then. Alright. I guess, uh... Go back to... So what's... What the exact am I supposed to do? Tire out, so I had to just keep on... I had to keep on doing whatever I could to keep the horse tired. Keep riding. Keep it calm down. Gotta lose track. Took me long enough. Sheesh. Okay. Let's get you back. Sorry, y'all. It took me a while to figure this out. But I learned it. Since fear, I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. All right. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse you ride around here? 
I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cat there. All right. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. All right, see the process. Like I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right. So, you know much about uh. being a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Oh, gosh. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, uh, I don't know. I'm comfortable with this. Rockstar, I don't know how I'm comfortable with this. Thank it. Get a hold of it again. Grip them. Come on. I don't know I'm comfortable with this, but you know what? Hey, well, I think she's. Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Oh. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Milton. Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? Mm -hmm. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. <laughs> yeah. Good day, Mr. Milton. You too. So... So yeah. Uh, whatever. All right, go to your house to speak with Abigail. Can't believe it. About to help the help out the horse with the birth. Wasn't uncomfortable with this, but whatever. Hey, John. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Mm. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. All right. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. All 
All right. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Jack. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Come on, Clint Eastwood. Let's go. Ride with Jack. Okay. Fine. Can we go home? No. You're. Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Alright, let's go. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. Okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Yeah, little kick and a... All right, again, a little pro progress. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. So down. Slow it down. Whoa, boy. Easy. This, no. this ain't so bad, sir. Mm hmm. Amazing what the right horse and a little cup. Ah, uh, looking at nature. Smell of good old nature. Nothing can beat Mother Nature. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. He's going this way. Okay then. Ah, look at this stream. Jack, what are you doing? Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, okay. You win. Oh well. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Hmm. All right then. There goes the shooting. Today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. See you later. All right. Now get to more working. And uh, this part, I believe, mission is complete. All the hood for beginners. Okay, now time for the new mission. <laughs> hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Mm-hmm. Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Hmm. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Okay. Plenty more to do. All right, we well, built the fence. There. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Okay. Now lift up the other side. You gotta line up. See. Now the next rail. Okay. Okay. You're doing all right. That's it. There you go. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Okay. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but all right. So long. There we go. Ooh. Oh, better be worth something. Looks kind of cool. Building the fences. Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? 
Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of <laughs> Come on! Move! Oh, oh! Oh, Lord, any mercy. Oh, no, that's not the fence. No, you don't. Oh! Okay. I did not see that coming. Seriously, you stupid bull. Sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. Mm. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Mm-hmm. But that was uh, crazy. Stinking bull. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. That sounds like Trevor from she Grand Theft Auto. Careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Oh. Oh. Damn. Get him. Get off that man. Get off. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. How's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> that is that is like Trevor. Must have been Trevor's ancestors. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. 
Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Okay, then. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. There we are. Mission complete. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should... Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> hmm. How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, no, I'm thank good. You. It's Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Ah, what a lovely night. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. It was it was a lovely night, but it's not. Good job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh my goodness gracious. They got Dickens over by the stable. Get over. It's a rich man. Who's this? New band? Like a baby. Yeah, what now? Get you. Oh, oh, Lord. Okay? No good. Uh, Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Well, I guess we're getting your cattle. Uh, I guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Got it. Man, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Oh. Getty's been real good to us. We. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Uh oh. My damn job. Oh yeah. Get my gear ready. Let's do this. This is gonna be the last we hear out of him. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Can you get my gear up, man? Okay, I'm away. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. 
Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now this is a real John Morrison wound. Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. Not getting back. Don't forget all the stuff first before we're going into mission. Always making sure you need more money, more everything. Next up and stuff something valuable. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just for good for now. Need your tough nail, huh?
You know what? Just for that, I'm. Just... Give me all your money. Thank you for the money. And you cheap. <laughs> that is a pocket watch. Well, let me uh, do all this real quick. I know, I, I, I want to get some more money. I need money. Good enough. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Now let's go. Sorry, I just need some money. Let's go. Say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Miller. Mm hmm. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Thank you. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Ah, uh, she ain't happy. Well, that was a pleasant night. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Mission complete. 